okay guys so in this lecture we will discuss the difference between the web buckling and web crippling right whenever you design any beam by using i section or white flange section in that case you have to check these two things first one is buckling and second one is crippling okay so before diving into the detail let's if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and let's start so first discuss the buckling right so what is basically buckling is from the column analogy if this is a column and if it is subjected to axial load like this what will happen after a certain amount of load it will buckle like this right and this completely depend on its effective length and the radius of gyration minimum radius of gyration of this particular section right now you can say well this is true for column why this is valid for i section let's say this is the i section and we are looking from a particular side and let's say this is the support and you have applied some load here so due to this loading in this support area there will be reaction right so can we say that this particular zone is subjected to a loading like this that means if this is a column which is supported at both ends by means of its flanges and it is subjected to concentrated load right then definitely it will behave just like a column and it will buckle okay so for checking this buckling where we will consider we will consider at the mid depth right in this mid depth we will check its strength so for that we have to consider an area in this mid depth or neutral axis so how to calculate that area so this load will be dispersed from this corner that means at the topmost point of the support it will be dispersed at an angle of 1 is to 1 so if this is the d by 2 distance then this is also d by 2 right so the total length where we will consider this buckling effect in plan if we look at the section this is the length the length is the support length plus this d by 2 in this length we will consider the buckling strength and the thickness is the thickness of web so you have got the cross sectional area based on that you can calculate the kl by r right because you can calculate the radius of gyration of this section and this is the effective length that means the effective length of the web and based on the buckling class that is whether it is class a b or c or d you can find out the allowable compressive stress so if we multiply this cross sectional area with this fcd we will get the web buckling strength right now come to web crippling so we have considered the buckling effect here in this middle zone right but what about crippling here you can see if you look closely that this is the thickness of flange right now it approach the flange the flange is actually approaching the web through this turning radius or, or you can say also at root radius so after this radius now here this wave is actually starting so from this point onwards the thickness remain constant but before it the thickness is gradually increasing or from this side you can say the thickness is gradually decreasing but here it become constant so this is the critical section or this is the critical section where the wave is actually started right so in this location 
what we can check? We can check, let us say this is the I section, right? And the same way, this is the support, let us say this is the loading, this is the reaction. But we have to check where in this particular location, that means here, not at the mid depth. This is the thickness of the flange and this is the thickness of the flange. Then we have to travel another distance that is root radius. So this is R1 and in this location, I have to check this strength. Okay. So basically, if we look at the I section like this, so we are actually checking here and here it actually cripple like this. This is known as crippling and from this point again we will disperse the load but here instead of 1 is to 1 we will disperse it at 1 is to 2.5 angle then in the same way we will calculate the strength right so all of these things are easily available in detail in the code but if you are a student and if you need help in that case you can join my channel here right so from this point here you can see that steel design course for BTEC and if you join this particular level you will get all of these things in detail as per codal provision with some uh, solution that means mathematical problem okay where I have deta in detail discussed all of these things okay. So that is the difference between web buckling and web crippling. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.